Hey guys, and welcome to my newest video. So, in case you guys are wondering, I have no makeup on. It's because I'm going to do a tutorial. <laughs> um, no, this isn't an everyday an update of an everyday tutorial. It is um, going to be a costume or cosplay tutorial of the one and only Harley Quinn. <laughs> um, this is on the back of the Hollywood show bringing out their Suicide Squad parody. Um, so this is like the second time I have actually done this with said makeup. Um, so yeah. <laughs> So what I'm doing is, um, it's pretty much I'm using things that I use in my everyday makeup and things that I have found or I have previously used at some point. Um, and yeah, and there's a few tips and tricks of how to do certain things. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I use is, um, what is it? This Maybelline New York uh, Fit Me 25. I think it's concealer, um, but I also use it as a full cover sometimes. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, there's also a tip and a trick I use if I'm running out, which I am. Um, I put a bit of saline in it and just give it a shake. And this is good. I was going on for a little bit longer. <laughs> so once I've done that, I get my beauty blender. It's a very dirty beauty blender, but then I just blend it all in. So once all that is done, I um to get the pale look that Harley Quinn has, I use uh, this banana powder. Um, it is the Australis banana powder. So as you can see, it's been used because I use it in my everyday makeup to give me a bit of definition on my cheekbones but today that's not how we're going to use it. What we are going to do is lather a big fluffy brush make sure it's nice and there's a lot on the brush. See it's a lot on there and then you just put it all over the face to get till you get that pale look that you are after. So once you have done that, you put that aside for now, and then we move on to the eyebrows. Now I use this um, Essence Eyebrow Stylist set. Right now, um, I use that in my everyday makeup routine. Well, not routine, but I use that in my everyday makeup look. So yeah, it pretty much works and. Like the old saying, use what works, or what works for you. So I use this brush here. It's on this thin one. I don't know if that's what it's used for, but it works. <laughs> so I put that on. And I feel my eyebrows. Now usually I do tend to make them a little bit darker, and then. Um, Lighten them out, but we don't want them too dark for Harley Quinn. So I get the same brush that I used for my face and just blend it all in. So 
fan that is as natural as possible. So once that's done, we then go on to the eyeliner. Now, um, what I've seen in photos and that is uh, she only has it on the top waterline, um, so that's what I do. But my um, mine tends to end up also on my bottom, on the bottom waterline. I don't know why, but it just does. <laughs> um, so I'm just using the Essence, another Essence product. Um, it's the Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. Just a typical black eyeliner. Can't go wrong. And then, so the next thing I like, well, thing I like to do is the little love heart tattoo that she has right here. I think it's there. It's either there or there. One of them, but I put it there. So I have a little love heart cut out that is it's sticky tape so it's easy to put on and yeah. So after that's been put on I use a black pen. Um, this is one of the fine liner pens. It's in black. So it's like a marker, but it's not really a marker. But yeah. So I just do the outline and then I colour it in. So once the heart is finally done, I had a bit of trouble with that. <laughs> um, I go on to doing the. Um, inner corners of the eyes in black. Um, now I'm using a smoky, smoky eye professional quad compact from Models Prefer Professional. And I'm just going to use this one right here. Um, I'm using a normal eyeshadow brush. And, yeah. Don't want to put too much but it's going to make it noticeable. So as you can see I've done the corners of my eyes so now we're going to go onto the red. Now I don't have any pink or red eyeshadow so I'm using this um, I think it's, yeah, L'Oreal to a lipstick it's red and it fades into a pinky red and it's really cool so yeah. So I just use this and I just apply it to my eye. So there is that one. <laughs> so the next one I do is the blue side. Now I have a blue, again I don't have any blue. I should have so I'm using a blue eyeliner. It's again from Essence Long Last and Eye Pencil in 2 2 Turquoise. So once everything is once um the blue is on and I put it all the way down here and then up and up here to the brow bone to match this one. Um once they're dry yeah, obviously you leave them for a while, they dry, they set. I can tell they're dry and set because they are very hard and they're very tight. Um, but what I do next is get the banana powder again and just put some on the brush and just put it over my eyes just to fade it even more. So it doesn't really look like it's faded in the camera but it's definitely um, definitely faded in real life so I do that on the other side and that concludes going over the um, little heart tattoo if you want to do it on its own just give it another and there you have it <laughs> makes it even look more faded and yeah it doesn't really the blue stands out a lot on this camera that's kind of cool so the next thing I do is the mascara. So 
so it's just the Scandal Eyes Rockin' Curves, and it's by Rumiel London. This is funny. So I just put it on the corner of my eyes. And then I do it on the bottom of my lashes. Only, again, um, a light layer on the lashes. So there is the eye makeup done. <laughs> So next is the lips now. Again, she has red lipstick, so I use the same red that I used on my eyes. Um, I don't have a red lip liner. I do have a nude colored liner. It's also from, I think it's pronounced Essence or it's E Essence, I don't know. Um, lip liner, it's 11, it's called 11 in the nude. So it's a, a nudie color. I use this with my nude colored lip, lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know. So I just put that like so. So that's that done. So I put that aside and get the lipstick and just fill the lips. Now if you wanted to do the um little bit that she goes down there you can either use a finger or a brush but again, once that is all done um because this lipstick dries very sticky and tacky i use the gloss so that is that done if you want to, you can use the banana powder again on the lips, just to give it a pale, a pale look. <laughs> so next comes hair and the outfit. <laughs> now I don't have any red or blue hair ties, so what I did was I got some cardboard and I measured them up to my ponytails and I made them into circles <laughs> and yeah I don't and also I don't have a a pudding choker so I do I bet I do have a choker and it's just got a I love heart I love heart on it so yeah so let me transform into Harley Quinn right now <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> I'm here. Um, Harley Quinn. Oh, I had the hair done. I don't have the proper shirt, so I'm just wearing like a red shirt and the choker. <laughs> this is so much fun to play Harley Quinn. I'm gonna be as crazy as I wanna be. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is how I do. Well, I'm going to be doing my Harley Quinn makeup from now on. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, favorite it, do what you gotta do, and all that stuff. Leave a comment down below who your favorite. DC character is <laughs> or um favorite Suicide Squad character if you don't know if you don't know many characters in the DC universe. So as always I will see you guys tomorrow later. Bye friends!